Chapter number eight, Scary Face Me. After I got home from school, I sat on my bed and I looked at my pictures. I don't like these ugly things, I said. These are the ugliest pictures I ever even saw. I leaned over the edge and holded a picture down there. You see this, you monster? This picture is just as scary as you are, and so maybe I might just put it right under my bed. And it will scare your whole entire pants off, I said. Just then, I set up very straight. Because that might be a good idea, I thought of. I quick found my scissors, and I cut my school pictures apart from each other, and I shoved them right under my bed. I'm not even afraid of you, because these ugly pictures can bite your head off, I said. Just then, I heard Mother come home from work. Mother, Mother, my pictures came, my pictures came. I hollered very thrilled, and she hurried up to my room, and I pointed under my bed. See them, Mother? See my school pictures? I spread them out under there. Mother looks kind of curious at me. She bended down and picked up a picture. Her mouth did a gasp. Oh, my, she whispered. I clapped and clapped. I know they're oh my. That is why I put them under my bed. Get it, mother, get it. Now my scary face will be down there all the time. And so that monster already got scared away, I bet. All of a sudden, mother started to laugh and I started to laugh too. Plus here's another happy thing. Cause this morning there was more drool on my pillow. Only I, not even worry, because it was from Raggedy Ruth, I bet. Or maybe from Philip Johnny Bob. Or maybe, maybe it was even from me. But that does not mean I'm a baby. Because everyone drools on their pillow every once in a while. My very own mother told me that. And she wouldn't even lie to me. Probably. The end. Did you like that story? Is there any such thing as monsters? No way, Jose. There's no such thing as monsters.